In this episode of my Gato FPS tutorial series, we're adjusting our door so that it always opens away from the player. These tutorials are part of a long series of FPS tutorials for the Gato engine. The link to the door component episode is in the description, and as always, you can grab the source files for this and all of my Gato engine tutorials on my Patreon. Opening a door and having it hit you in the face is gonna suck for the player. So to make the door always open away from the player, we need to check what side of the door the player is on when they open it. First, we need to know the facing direction of the door in the form of a vector three. The direction to the player's global position from the door's global position, then compare those two vectors with a dot product. A dot product gets the relation of two vectors in the form of a float between one and negative one. If they're perpendicular, the dot product is zero. If they are in the same direction, it equals one. If opposite directions, it equals negative one. With the dot product, we can check if the direction to the player points in the same direction or opposite direction as our forward direction, and therefore which side of the door the player is on. In our door component script, add a new enumeration forward direction, an export variable for that direction, and two variables to be assigned later, rotation adjustment and door direction. For our forward direction, we'll set this manually since the orientation of my door versus your door may not be the same. My door, for example, is aligned to the X axis, making its forward vector equal to what is called the global transform X basis. Your door may be aligned to the Z axis, or if you're making a trap door, the Y axis. So we'll manually set that axis and use the appropriate basis in our script. Add a new function, check door, that uses a match case to check our forward direction. Then get the global position of the door parent, in this case, the animatable body 3D node, the global position of the player, Note that I have my player set as a reference in my global script autoload. Then the direction from the door position to the player and the dot product of the direction to the player and the door direction we set earlier in the function. This gives us a value between negative one and one depending on where the player is in relation to the door. Next, check if the dot product is less than zero. If it is, then flip the rotation of the door by setting the rotation adjustment variable to negative one. If greater than zero, the rotation adjustment equals one. Then we run our open door function. In the open door function, we incorporate our rotation adjustment modifier to our rotation. And before you test, be sure to change the callable in the connect parent function to check door instead of open door, since that function is now the first to run. You should now be able to open your door away from you no matter what side of it you're on. As always, you can get the source files for everything that you saw in this video on my Patreon. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, keep creating.